Hi, today we're going to do something very interesting. It's on indices and it's about the power of timetables. You will be amazed when you see that you got these figures into your head. You will be able to flow with numbers very quickly. What I meant is like, you need to know the laws of indices like 2 to the power of 10. What is it? You sometimes wonder. In a quick speed of thinking, sometimes it's good to learn these by memory. Let's find out what it's all about. The power of tables. Now, firstly, let's start with the table 2. Now, when we talk about indices, we talk about a number with a power. Anything, any number for the power of 0 is equal to 1. If I said I had a thousand to the power of zero, it's still a one. I'll tell you more about this as I go into the laws of indices. But let's first get the tables right. The tables that you're going to learn is the powers of two from right up from zero right up to 12. Let's find out how easy it can be. Two to the power of zero is one. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. What does 2 to the power of 1 mean? 2 is only repeated once. But when I said 2 squared to the power of 2, it tells you 2 times 2, and that gives you a 4. And what does 2 cubed be? Now, if you say it's 6, I ought to shoot you down. What does 2 cubed mean? Right, you got it. 2 times 2 times 2. Woo! So that makes it 8. Do you see a pattern? You do. It's, you look at that. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So what will the next number be? If it's 2 to the power of 4, you get a 16. 2 to the power of 5 what you get. Yes, 16 times 2, 32. And 2 to the power of 6, you get a 64. You can go on right up to 12. It's not at all a task to learn. If it's 2 to the power of 7, just look at 64 plus another 64 because you're doubling. This concept of 2 is a double effect. 60 plus 60 is 120. 4 plus 4 is 8. So you get 128. Now let's look at 2 to the power of 8. You're going to multiply this by 2. In other words, 128 is repeated 2 times. 120 and another 120 is 240. 8 plus 8 is 16. Add 16 to 240, what you get? 2, 5, 6. Excellent. Let's look at 2 to the power of 9. Guess what? You got it? Yes, 256 plus 256. A double effect on that is 250 times 2 is 500. A 6 and a 6 is a 12. So you've got 500 and 12. Excellent. What about 2 to the power of 10? Alright, I like to bring this up. That Look at the writing. The power should be written small and right up there. Right? Do not make your 2 to the power of 9 be written this way. It could be read as 29. So be very cautious about that. Now 2 to the power of 10, a 512. And a 512, that will come up to 1024. And if you look at 2 to the power of 11, 2 to the power of 11 is just a double of it. 1000 becomes 2025, becomes 48. So you've got 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, 2000 becomes 4000. 48 and 48 becomes a 96. If you have a struggle there, 
Think of fifty short of two. Another fifty short of two. So it put together, you get a hundred short of four. That's a ninety-six. So you've got two thousand becoming four thousand and ninety-six. Now, isn't this easy? All right, knowing your tables. When you go on further into the problem sums of indices, and if you know these tables at your fingertips, it becomes really easy. Let's start it again one more time. Two to the power zero, you got a one. Two to the power one, you get a two. Two to the power two, you get a four. Two to the power three, you get an eight. Two to the power four is a sixteen, and sixteen times two. You get a thirty-two. Two to the power six. Thirty-two times two, sixty-four. Sixty-four times two, one two eight. One two eight times two, two five six. Two five six times two, five one two. And two to the power ten. Five one two and five one two gives you one thousand and twenty-four. And two to the power eleven, it gets a double effect on that. You get two thousand and Forty-eight and two to the power twelve, you've got four zero nine six. I would really urge you to know these tables, not to go beyond so much. All right, let's go on to other numbers like three. Now, if you look at three, the table three, any number for that instant to the power of zero is a minus is a one. Right, any number, even if it's going to be a minus three. The power of a zero, you still get a one. If it is minus, and if you write it this way, the zero, the power zero, is only meant for the three, so you get a minus one. All right. Now, if you want to feel rich, you want to let your friends feel that you are rich. You just say, "Hey, buddy, I've got a million dollars." The power zero, softly say that power softly, and they think you've got a million, but actually you just got a dollar, right? A million to the power zero is none other than one, right? Okay, now let's get back again to three. You don't need to go right up to three to the power of twelve. Just go to your tables from three to the power zero, right up to six. Would you find it? A bit of a challenge, not right now, right? Right. If it's three to the power of one, you get a three. Three to the power of two, as I said, three to the power of two is three times three. You get a nine. This is a triple effect, all right? Three to the power of three, nine times three, you get a twenty-seven. Three to the power of four, you get an eighty-one. And three to the power of five, eighty-one times three. Just look at it very easily. Three times one, three. Three times eight, twenty-four. So you've got a two hundred and forty-three. Three to the power of six. Well, two hundred forty-three times three, you get a seven hundred and a twenty-nine. It's very comfortable knowing right up to here. We're now gonna move on for four. And you will see the relationship between four and two. Let's find out more about it. Now, as for four, we'll just move up right up to six. Four to the power of zero is one. Four to the power of one is four. Four squared, multiplying four times, you've got a sixteen. Four to the power of three. You get a sixty-four, and four to the power of four, you've got two, five, six, and four to the power of five, you get a one thousand and a twenty-four, and four to the power of six, multiply this four times, and you get four zero nine six. You may wonder, how do I say it, rattling very fast these figures? You know what? It's because I know the powers of two, and all these appear in the indices for the powers of two, 
and I will show you more tricks as we go on. From 4, I shall go on to 8, alright? Because 2, 4, 8, 16, I will call them as cousins, cousin brothers. They have got something similar and we got to find out more about it. 8 to the power of 0 is 1. 8 to the power of 1 is 8. 8 to the power of 2 is 64. 8 to the power of 3 is 5, 1, 2. Isn't it amazing? Don't you see these numbers appearing in the indices of 2s? And if you look at 8 to the power of 4, 8 to the power of 4 is 4096. 4096. Now that's something funny. Some magic is going on in maths. And as we say, maths is magic. Maths is fun. Have no fear in numbers because they're all related to patterns. And I tell you what, it's now time for us to pick up on the laws of indices because that's behind the knowing of all this, the quick and fast method. We will get to the laws of indices shortly.